and I'm back again. So let me try and zoom on on these females. The one that's right there, I think she's paired up with the male. They're like sneaking up on her in the corner. Because they definitely do not want her near their breeding site when they breed. The natural thing. So, you know. Uh, one of them loves those fun so you can see that little black stripe that's one of the females. Uh, I think that's the egg is easy. There's a quarry down there eating on it. Quarries, do not get baby tears or like, gloss or whatever it's called, or, mm, like the foreground plants, uh, that aren't hardy, like, uh, dwarf sag would be okay with them. But don't get anything like baby tears. Cause then they're gonna uproot it if they're not established. Though they're great fish anyway. I haven't had them breed. Dustin's have them breed. Ross Boys had them breed. I haven't had them breed. And I don't know why. I fed them Lost Life stuff. Some frozen stuff. I don't know. Speaking of frozen stuff. After this video. Tomorrow. Or tonight I'm gonna get started on the back to the basics videos I know Ted Judy is already doing back to the or basic stuff but I just want to even experienced people have to watch this back to the basics it's nice to know other people do things differently and all the beginners who have seen this or seen this know that uh, know what to do and this is an actually nice pretty this is a pretty good angle I took a picture of my uh, intro for my camera. Let me try and zoom in on a female. A female. I feel the same. Oh, I'll zoom in on lemon tetras. Lemon tetras. Don't remember the scientific name. Uh, I might post it or not. Uh, sim begin definitely a beginner. Almost all tetras are beginners. They're very forgiving. Uh... They like uh, regular tropical fish water, 75 degrees to 80 degrees. If you want to breed them, make it slowly go up, and uh, they should breed in the morning if you put a pair in. Females are a lot, uh, a lot uh, stockier, maybe because you know the eggs and stuff. Uh, so not really that much that gender difference, because they're tetras. Most tetras don't have that big of a gender. Uh, gender difference mm, so that's pretty much it pH low pH for tetras all tetras love t pH below 7.0 uh, including the neon tetra true classic uh, same pretty much same care as lemon tetras uh, they get smaller so make sure you don't keep them with anything bigger than an angelfish angelfish might actually eat them if they get big enough but nothing bigger than a medium sized angelfish because then they'll get eaten like don't put them with uh, don't put them with fire mouse that you know are going to get too big like if I put them with my grandma's fire mouse they got eaten or died and got eaten I don't know I don't really care I'll just tell her to get some angels or something uh, uh, what else what else what else what else tetras breeding is simple but kind of annoying because they're going to eat their eggs. Kind of weird, right? Uh, pretty much it. Later tomorrow I will start later tonight or tomorrow I will start the back in basics. See you then.